All right, out in the greenhouse. Not much has changed out here, guys. I ain't gonna lie, just been busy. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, just been supporting heritage. But I also been having other issues. I'm trying to figure out. I didn't have this last year's where my cucumbers are diseased and also overheat. And with my pH still acting wonky, can't get my nutrients to them. But some plants are doing better than others still. As you see up here, I got a cucumber. So I got a good I got good foliage. But yeah, look over there. Here's my broccoli. They all went wonk. I'm thinking about uprooting all of this whole bed. It has cauliflower down on the end. You got plenty of cauliflower and broccoli out of this season, but like I said, it got really hot in here. Plus, I had an issue with Amazon on getting my liquid seaweed to me. So, about three, four weeks there, I didn't have my fertilizer. So, that's another reason why I had a little bit of an issue out here. As y'all remember, this bed started leaking. Just haven't got, uh, got around to filling it back up yet. So, uh, I'm gonna probably just like I said fill this bed up redo all my beds really and probably have the gravel way down here from what I've learned with all this huddling short my stand pipes and all that good nature so I can stop having issues with that so like I said this season I've learned a lot and I'm trying to go from there as you can see though the tomatoes are doing really well this season though give me some finger shots there yeah, check these tomatoes out, guys. Beautiful. So, like I said, it's still a learning curve for me. But, as you can see, oh, the next one getting ready to be flipped. This bed still has no occupants in it. But, like I said, it's still a learning curve. Learning what I'm gonna do out here. So that's what's going on with the grow beds. Sun tanks still doing its thing. Splash guard has ultimately helped a lot with evaporation as well. And my beds are no longer getting wet. About time to clean the filter out again. I don't know if y'all be able to see that down in there. Yeah, look at that. It's getting kind of dirty in there. I need to clean it up. Onto the fish. Whoa. No feeding action, guys. I already fed y'all. Yeah, check these guys out. Everybody's doing awesome. If anything, they're all getting bigger. Now, I want to show y'all a little piece in tranquility I've added to my greenhouse. There he goes. His name is Jamie. Where'd he go? There he goes, this guy right here, that little Dalmatian looking one. There's a little orange dot on his face. That one, there he goes. That's my new uh, koi. Yes sir, I got me a koi catfish. Wow. You know what I mean, goldfish. But, that's right, I'm making plans on setting up a pond eventually, so we ain't got me one at $10. And it was the last day of the uh, one of my best uh, buddies down at the local aquarium down here in Knoxville and he uh, that last fish is going to pull out of the tank for me so I named it after him so stop getting a little emotional and messing up my lines eh? alright here at the African cichlid tank still doing their thing bumblebee still my favorite in this tank this guy's getting picked on a lot lately. Getting beat up. Lemon over there showing it. Gotta get the timeout chamber again. Opal's doing good. Like his coloring he's starting to get. Anything I've learned. I'm uh, probably gonna have a tank full of this guy right here. Maybe some bumblebees, because they tend they seem to get along. The only two in this whole tank. Suckerfish still doing good. This guy right here though, loves to mess up my landscape all the time. Just got through doing a water change. I'm surprised he ain't spitting rocks out right now. Yeah, 
Yep, that's what's going on. Thinking about reducing numbers in here. See if I get some store credit at my local fish store up there at the aquarium. Really enjoying these guys, I have to say. Besides that, hey, come on, leave more. About the only thing that aggravates the hell out of me on this tank. Like I said, that just happens every time I do a water change. All right, on to the next tank. All right. Start start off here with the shrimp tanks. Loving these tanks. I love my little cherry shrimps. Once again, thank you, Mr. Mom and Jay Flesh, for sending these guys to me. Coming up on three, four years now. Yeah, look at that buried sack. Uh, uh oh, focus, focus. Always scavenging in here. <clears throat> Real sensitive creatures, too, I have to say. Yeah, look at this pygmy chainsaw doing really well in here. Um, back to what I was saying, being sensitive, they don't like their water column being messed with. And I'm on well water, so the water's a little bit harder. So I just do once a month water changes and weekly top-offs. Now my shrimp tanks to, you know, help out with the non-fluctuating water chemistry parameters, however you want to say it. Once again, look at that. Uh, got a lot of moss in here, too, still. You need to trim it up, but... Kind of let it go wild, do its own thing in here. I really love the results I get with this tank. As for an example, all this bronze crypt Wendetti here, I don't trim it. I don't clip it. I don't have to do nothing. As you can see here, there's a rotten leaf right there. See how it's falling off and just starting to look ugly? I leave it alone and they eat it. So, circle of life kind of thing going on here in this tank now. Along with the uh, assassin snails I got in here, I got two of them in here, which have been helping with that Malaysian trumpet snail outbreak. Look at that. Plus, I turned the driftwood upwards so I could see some more of the action going on back there. Oh, look at that pearl in action. Ooh. Now, I kind of, look at that, that's awesome. On two different ones. I'm gonna put that heater down underneath the uh, driftwood area back there, try to hide it. You know, the eyesore. <laughs> um, Bacopa is doing been okay. It slowed down on me like the stargrass did, and it's not growing as fast and producing as many clippings for me here lately. But as you can see, it looks good. I'm still enjoying it. The uh, pygmy is not taking off as fast as I want it to. Do they keep covering it over, moving all the uh, rocks around in here? Once again, this is a dirty tank. Don't forget that. And you see how clean it is. Plus, <clears throat> on the subject that, whoa, Let's try to. There we go. As you can see here, got the Phoenix coming up on one year owning it. And I have to say, compared to my 55 gallon, we'll see here in a sec. I love the T, the LEDs to the T8. It's just, I can't explain it. For one, it's much cooler colors. Two, it's not as bright in the tank. I know I've played around the adjustments here on this phone to make it not as bright. Like I said, right now, if I turn it off, see me get the natural colors back in there. But I say just the warm colors plus also. Turn on the blue lights. Bam. I said not much of a change. Or, like I said, do this too. Da da. 
Now we're gonna move over here to this tank now. I've already spent four minutes on that one. This tank is still infested with Malaysian trumpet snails. And I mean infested. I'm gonna get me some more assassin snails in this tank. All honesty though, I'm really thinking about collecting all the strip out of this tank. Cause they're not for one producing as much as I want in here, breeding wise that is. And two, I, I want to do something different. Maybe have some guppies. Maybe get some German blue rims in this tank. If anything, I'm not tearing it down because this sword here I've had for about three years now. And you know what I'm saying? It's doing really well in the dirt, of course. And I can guarantee that root, <laughs> look at that. I guarantee that root base goes all throughout that tank. So it'd be a shame to tear it up and tear it down. Now, my clippings of the red Luigi over here, eh, it's not doing too well. It was doing good and then it died. Go figure. But if anything, like I said, I want to take all the strength out of here because they covered my dwarf sag up really bad. And I'm kind of mad at them for that. So I want to put them back over here and have just the one colony. Excuse me on that burp, guys. All right. Last tank, the 55. All right. Here we are at the dirty 55. As you see, doing just well. Shout out to M.A. Fish Guy on his top 10 tips videos. I liked his recent one about um, dosing and forgetting just to not do it at all. And this tank speaks loud as like my strength tank. Yeah, I have a little bit of allergy issues in here, a BBA and whatnot. But other than that, it's doing okay. Once again, the dirt uh, has a, uh, the excessive nutrients in it to help keep the plants stable, especially whenever I dose and when I don't dose. But I'm looking into an automatic doser for this tank. But, you know, saving up on the money and getting that and do uh, with other projects going along at the same time. Still got on four Bosemonis. Male Bosemonis, Australian, Turk, and the female. They're doing good. Now, can't ever catch a glimpse of all these guys, but here we go. There's the female, I believe. If you look right there. Yep, there goes a baby. Hey, there's one of my assassin snails too. And there goes another baby. That was the first generation. I got maybe six to eight generations of babies in here from either from the rubber lip and the br bristle nose crossbreed. So, let's see, I'm trying to, there's my Cory. See, and there's there's my bristle nose now as we speak. Oh, wait, I need a camera. There he is. So, like I said, it's just kind of weird they're crossbreeding and giving me babies. <laughs> Go figure, eh? Why does that Corey always do that? He likes doing that, swimming on top of all my plants. Um, the Pygmy Chainsword, I believe, is getting starved out of light and maybe the lack of nutrients from my dosing regularly but like i said they're kind of dying off a little bit but at the same time i got new growth so like i said the tank's doing just fine in my opinion like i said i agree with the ma fish guy and once again got two assassin net snails there i'm sorry guys that's another thing i've noticed too less MTS in this tank and I mean a lot less so that's always a good thing too once again the dwarfs are doing good and we'll go ahead and just zoom in right here yeah look right there a little shame for y'all a little BBA right there you get in there and clip that out of there but that's what happens but as long as you keep it in check remove what you see infected when you find it Clip it out, you know what I'm saying, when you're doing your uh, feedings, and you'll take care of it. Like right here, for example, this whole area was engulfed in BBA. Now look at it. One little spot. And my rosy. Yep, that's my pair of rosies. I've had them for about three or four years now. They're doing 
a long haul on me. Plus, we're finally getting along. <laughs> Go figure. Why, well, last little rummy nose. Y'all remember I had a pack of them in here, of about 18, due to the winter storm that killed off every one of them except for him. My little sole survivor. Along with my other pack of, or what I'm saying pack of schools, uh, my black neons. And he's not in the camera right now. He's hiding. So he's still going on strong for me as well. Look there. There's another generation. I think that's three or four. And I was trying to find a little baby for y'all right now, but I can't find one. Maybe with all this scavenging right now, they got spooked off. I said it's getting close to feeding time. Yep. All right, guys. There's my video. I appreciate the two guys that got me fired up to finally get back to making videos. I'm going to try to get back to a regular basis of it. I really miss it. And like I said, I've just been real busy, overworked, and trying to get stuff taken care of. But like I said, I lost my fire, but they got me fired back up. First off, I'm going to start off with Jay Wilson. Everybody knows him, the king of contest. He gave me a shout out on his last video from his contest winning, winnings. And he didn't have to do that, but he did. He did. The, he also went back on my channel, saw where I was, see where I'm at, and see where I'm going. And I great, greatly appreciate him doing that. I know it's been a long time since he made that video, and I'm just not getting around to making it. And then on the other hand, the king of DIY, Joey himself, Mr. Big Star, remembered who I was, saying that he ain't seen a video from me in a while, and he just called me out on it. And I greatly appreciate it. You hit me right there, buddy, and I appreciate it. Now, once again, at the beginning of the video, I've been supporting my heritage. It's not hate. I don't, don't, I'm not going to get into all that with all y'all in the comments whatsoever. As you see, I'm still proud to be an American. I love my land, but I'm not appreciating what's going on. And like I said, you've seen me in the past before on rant videos. I'm not going there right now. If you want me to, give me a video to see what's in my head right now and all that. Hit that like button. Comment down below on all the Aqua update. Like I said, I got the greenhouse doing just fine. And, hell, I've been getting a lot of tomatoes. Like I said, I recorded that uh, clip about three days ago. You saw those tomatoes. Getting ready to uh, eat them for probably a couple sandwiches this week. But, keep on tuning in, guys. I promise I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to keep on making content and getting back to it. Until that next video, you know what to do.